Artificial intelligence and facial recognition are one of the greatest digital challenges facing Europe. Are we ready to surrender our privacy to protect our freedom? I think that there is not yet a consensus in society about whether this technology is legitimate and whether it should be generally deployed. What I think we argue is that we need to have this, this democratic debate, but also we need to look at it through the lens of existing legislation, notably the GDPR, and see whether or not the principles in there, such as accountability, privacy by design, uh, the right not to be profiled and have decisions taken on you by a machine, uh, see, to see how those rights are actually played out in practice and how they're going to be enforced in the next year or two. The GDPR and the parallel police data directive uh, do provide some important safeguards around the use of biometric data. And the, the principles behind those are very important. We're not sure they're, they're sufficient, but they're certainly a good foundation. You know, we'd actually advocate for the regulation of providers of this technology. You know, sort of they should be licensed to make sure that when they're deploying it, for their customers, their customers are using it in appropriate ways. It is not always the regulation that is best place to deal with things. And sometimes, and I would think particularly in this case, I think what we need more is education of the public, transparency on, the, on how these mechanisms actually work so that the public has access to how they actually work because it's not so much a matter of the regulatory environment, it's much more a question of implementation. We're all in favor of a rational and sensible use of the technology where it makes sense but it has to respect human rights and all around the world we're having the conversation about artificial intelligence and for example facial recognition technology from a perspective of ethics. The unique thing that the European Union could do is come up with a sensible legal and enforcement framework to govern this new technology and in that way it could actually become a unique selling point for the EU for more companies to develop their technologies and their businesses here because citizens will have more trust, their rights will be better protected. There are real concerns about discrimination. You have of course some groups working on discrimination issues in Europe but they're not well connected to the technology policy discussions. You know so there's real like a, a mismatch of expertise you know people that really know about discrimination in, in European societies they're not really included in these discussions around AI and that's something that needs to be solved. Well, facial recognition has its peculiarity that it collects data about the people without the people being aware of it. Unlike fingerprinting where you know that your fingerprinted uh, prints have been collected, you know that there is data there and you know when it is checked and cross-checked with other lists. With facial recognition has this peculiarity that you don't know when it, this data is being collected, you don't know uh, by whom, it can be done from distance, so this is why uh, it is uh, special. People at some point have certain expectations, they have certain ideas about what is happening if their camera is installed, you know, maybe these things are smart, maybe there's facial recognition in there. Maybe only at some point only the experts are not going to be paranoid, you know, about all the ways in which like our environments are getting smart and that's really not the place where we want to go. So we really need a much more robust discussion about when are the usage of these technologies legitimate. At the end of the day, um, protecting our most basic fundamental rights uh, is a question about protecting our open, free, democratic, liberal societies. And so in that sense, Europe has a very important role and should make sure that it has all the political willingness and impetus to make sure that that is exactly what it is trying to do.